Oh, hey, how's it going, Joe? Sorry I'm late. My copy and my newspaper. Uh, was that the CCA? <laughs> oh, CCA Survival Guide? I'm not getting the chair right. Yeah, I, uh, I'm at a lecture where I sleep next to people who help pay for my education. Not a bad deal. Perfect. What are you watching? Uh, yeah, there's this new YouTube channel called The Hills Daily News. They're pretty good. Oh, they're right. Well, okay. A little bit. Okay. Apparently, there's a uh, thief afoot on campus. Oh, uh, live from Hillsdale, it's Tuesday night. I hate when you do jazz hands. Well, anyway. Well, welcome to this week's episode of the Collegian Sneak Peek. My name is Evan. And my name is Joe. And this week in news... That wasn't meant to happen. Uh, we have a Q&A with a podium professor at Boston College, Paul Mariani, who is visiting the college this week. And Paul Moreno will be returning to campus, filling the position that John Fennell is leaving as divisional dean. The Mariani and Moreno, they're not the same person, by the way. Uh, this week in opinions, we find out that Kanye West knows the people better than Donald Trump. Surprise, surprise. But he still can't sign in his album's title. But I just, my dream candidacy for the 2020 is Kanye West and Waka Flocka, my beautiful, dark, twisted presidency. <laughs> and we have somebody ar arguing uh, for pro-life from the libertarian viewpoint. They say it's natural and ethical. So save the babies and legalize marijuana. Please do. Uh, this we can find out every single place in the city that you can buy poochkis, which are like donuts, but not donuts. Pretty cool. Basically. And last Friday, Governor Rick Snyder okayed a $28 million aid package to the city of Flint to help them deal with their uh, current uh, lead crisis. So hopefully they will be able to get to the bottom of a glass of water without having to consume lots of lead. Yes. Uh, if you're considering a career in introducing massive violent men to the world, we have a piece on Scott Lantis, class of 2013, who works for the Denver Broncos. Wow. For those foreign to these terms, uh, the Broncos are an American football team playing in a national championship this year, also known as a Super Bowl, which is a colloquial term for the place people find themselves the morning after the competition. And our football program was awarded the Grant Tayoff Breaking the Silence Award at a uh, national awards banquet um, in recognition um, of our team's uh, raising of awareness about the issue of youth suicide. And this week in arts, we have a concerto competition that will happen this Sunday. Mixed tapes will not be accepted as entries. In other news, we have a new dance honorary on campus um, following national standards, so it's um, with the national organization. And we're going to talk to, or we did talk to some seniors about how they put that together. And this week in features, last issue we showed you pictures of Israel and its many rocks. This issue, Savannah Waranga was one of the billion people in India last week. Pretty crazy. <laughs> And this last summer, junior Ben Block went to Africa and shadowed a National Geographic photographer. And so now he has a little bit of a dilemma on his hands. Does he study the tigers or does he study the cheetahs? Actually, it's lions or cheetahs, but I would go with liars, personal opinion. I did not just pick my nose on camera. Uh, and the final word this week goes to our Israel correspondent, Nathan Steinmeier. Take it away, Nathan. I'm here in Beersheba, Israel, a country that's so relaxed that supposedly even the Minister of Defense wears a t-shirt in the war room. So what can a country that's this chill teach us about life? Well, it's not that we should freak out over every little assignment and grade. Instead, it's that we should all just calm down and take a breather, because we'll all do just fine. If you liked our video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and share our articles on Facebook as well as this video. Uh, we couldn't do our special interview this week because uh, we went in the Galloway and no one was there. But, but don't despair! Next week, Galloway interview, men's dorm. Be there. Evan will be eating an apple. See you guys next week. <laughs>